All right, I'm going to be talking to you today about how I use power sheets for my business um, to track last month's progress, to set goals for myself going forward, um, and how I use them just to stay motivated. So I'm using the power sheets from Laura Casey's Cultivate What Matters, and I'm gonna take you through how I plan out my goals using these. So before preparing for a new month, I like to go through last month's and see um, how I did, track my prog progress. I try to go through it once a week and um, you know move this progress bar up a little bit just because it motivates me. Um, so this month I was focusing um, a lot on business stuff as well as health. And uh, if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that the health side of things did not go good at all. Um, so over here, I brainstorm for the month. What do I want to focus on? Like what's coming up? Um, what do I need to prepare for? And then sometimes I have a little bit too much stuff over here and I know that I'm not going to be able to work it all into one month. So then I'll go over here and write down my monthly goals of what I want to focus on. Um, I always have, I am a part of Amazon First Reads and so I always have finished my book on there, which three months running, I have finished my book within the 30 days, so I'm three out of three. Um, I always have something about planning my content for the month prior. And other than that, so for this month, I wanted to book three projects um, for the month of September, um, go on a mini trip with my family, which did end up happening sort of. So we booked our mini vacation, but it's happening in August. So I would still mark that as progress. Um, I wanted to grow my email list and grow my Instagram following go on a date with my husband and then lose five pounds, which that did not happen. As you can see, I did not hit my goals at all for going to the gym. And then down here are my daily goals. So this is weekly. And I normally only have like one or two weekly goals. Um, and this time I just did not hit them at all. And then at the bottom, I have my daily goals. So I have morning quiet time, um, one technology free hour per night. And that just means that I put my phone down and I don't look at it for a whole hour, <laughs> which might sound uh, kind of trivial, but it really helps me. And then get up and get dressed. So get out of my PJs and get ready for the day. So that's a little bit about how I set up my month and how I track my goals and what I am tracking. So before I go into preparing for the upcoming month, I usually go to my dry erase calendar and I map out every big thing that's happening for the upcoming month, whether that's client launches, my own personal launches, birthdays, vacations, um, anything that's big on my calendar that I also can get excited about and I know that I need to prepare for. So I do all of that before going into my power sheets and mapping it out there. So for the new month, now that I have everything on my dry erase calendar, I can put it on here, I can do my important to do's, and I can write down what I'm excited for. And then at the bottom, it has your one big goal that you wanna focus on. So for this month, I am launching my monthly membership uh, that's going to be going over branding, marketing, social media, website strategy. Um, and so that's gonna be my one big goal for this month is um, the launch of the monthly membership. Now the let it go page is something that I really didn't take into account at first, but what I love doing with the let it go page is a going back and reading over where my heart was at and kind of where my thought process was um, in the months prior. Now using the brain stream side is a great place to write down every thought that you have, everything that you want to accomplish um, within the coming months. It doesn't have to be this month exactly, um, but it's a good place to just kind of brainstorm, lay it all out there. Because sometimes I like to go back to my prior months and look at the things that I didn't accomplish but wanted to and maybe add them to this month if it feels right. But the brainstream part is a really good place to just get messy, put all your thoughts out there. Um, and so you can go back and look at them in the months later. So now that we have all, all of our brainstream goals over on this side, we can start to transfer them to this side. Now for me, just to make it easier on my brain, I use different colors for different um, areas within my life. So like this month, I use green for business goals, blue or just kind of personal stuff that I want to fill out. And then um, pink is kind of like 
family stuff. Um, and so that's kind of how I use different colors to help my brain understand what goals are what whenever I'm transferring them to the other side. Now, for me, whenever I'm doing my monthly goals, you don't have to fill up all of the lines. Usually I have around six to maybe eight monthly goals. For my weekly, I try to keep it at maybe two or three weekly goals. And then for my daily goals, about the same, um, about two to three daily goals as well. But you can use this however you want to. That's kind of the magical thing about power sheets is that you can find out what works for you and use power sheets to help you grow and you see progress. So comment below, let me know how Power Sheets has helped you grow and see success maybe within your business or your personal life. And even let me know how you're using Power Sheets differently than I am. I'd love to hear.